Hey guys, so today is going to be November favorites and first let me just explain what is going on here. For one, I'm not feeling too good. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm trying to get over this like hacking cough cold. I'm not sure where it came from. I am trying to medicate myself as best I can because I don't want Maddie or Emmy to get sick or on the dress for that matter. But it's just been eating at me for like a week straight and I think I'm getting a sty in my right eye so I have no makeup on <laughs> in case you're wondering why I look like death right now that's why but I did want to go ahead and share with you guys my November favorites before it just got too completely out of hand and it was like entirely too late to post it because I really I actually don't think I posted October favorites either so this has kind of been a combination of the last couple of months I don't have too many things I do have makeup skincare and two fails at the end of the video so let's go ahead and get started so first off I really haven't which I didn't put any concealers or foundations but if you guys saw in my new mommy makeup tutorial I really just wear concealer a little bit of eye brightener and some powder to keep my oils at bay and then for the most part, it's just a simple eye look and a little bit of blush. So for my eyes, I have been using two different shadows. Um, well, a combination of shadows. MAC shadows and my Naked palette. The one I've been using the most from, let me grab it here, the most from MAC is Jest, which is a very, like, pinky, champagne-y color. It's very just, like, simple, nothing too crazy, but it does give you that really pretty shimmer and it's kind of cloudy outside right now it's very ugly so the sun or the clouds may go in and out there's not great lighting right now but it's just a really pretty pinky color it's great to just splash over the lid with a little bit of liner and that's really what I've been doing just wearing this one or I've been wearing let's see naked lunch is this naked lunch yeah naked lunch which is the same idea I really have been wearing just more but um, naked lunch same thing it's just like a this one's more of like a champagne-y color. There's Naked Lunch there and Jest. And then also all that glitters, which is way more champagne-y and like on the brown side. But the three of those I've just kind of been interchanging on my lid and just sweeping some liner and going. And then I also have been using the Naked Palette. Um, sometimes I wear Virgin or Sin, which are these two here. On, this is the original Naked palette, which by the way, I want to pick up the Naked 3. I saw that Sephora has it, and I think Ulta has it also, so I want to pick up that one. But um, Naked, or Naked, Virgin and Sin, I've been splashing those on the lid and then buffing it out with a little bit of Naked just to give my crease a little bit of depth and warmth and just kind of define it a little bit. Um, but that's it. Just been splashing that on my lid. And then for liner, I have fallen back in love with my MAC Super Slick liquid eyeliner. I have had this for a long time. I can't remember what collection they came out with. I don't know if this is a permanent item. It may be totally permanent and you can get it now, but I got it back when it was in some random collection. Um, the name of it is that in case you're looking. This one is in the color On The Hunt. So I want to say this was like with the feline collection maybe, but I really like it because it's super, super black. This is probably the blackest liner that I own, and it's just amazing. So the point of it looks like this. It's like I said, super, super black. I mean, it's just jet black, so like liquidy. I really like the fact that it's liquidy because I own a couple of other um, liquid eyeliners and they're not so liquidy and I really like to just be able to do my liner in one swoop and have no issues with it applying or lasting forever this thing lasts forever but it actually comes off with makeup wipes perfectly fine so I love that I wish in fact let me know in the comments down below if you guys know if this is a permanent item because I still have plenty of it but I want to go ahead and pick up a backup just in case I don't wear liner all the time so it'll last me a long time and actually I probably I should go through my makeup and get rid of some of it because that's probably what was giving me a sty is using old makeup. Oh, and I forgot to mention for eyeshadows, I had used this in my new mommy makeup tutorial. This is the Bear, P Bear Study Paint Pot from MAC. And I asked you guys, like, how can I revive it? And I haven't tried reviving it. Some of you said you pop it in the microwave. I actually tried to put it in the bottle warmer that we used or we used in the past to um, heat up Maddie's bottles because it's like a steam bottle 
warmer and it didn't work so I'm kind of afraid to put it in the microwave if you guys know an easy way to revive it because you can see it's like cracked around the outside or is it just entirely too old should I just get rid of it should I back to mac it I feel like it still has plenty of product and if I could just revive it it would be fine because I can get some out of it it's just pretty dried up but once I warm it up with my finger I can get quite a bit of product out still so you can see there it's still useful it's just very cracked so let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any really good tips for this or maybe I could just YouTube it second to last makeup favorite that I have is a blush and this is probably an all-time favorite of mine but I go back and forth between using it and not using it and it is the Tarte's Amazonian Amazonian clay blush um, in the color exposed and I have mine depotted in a palette I actually have all my Tarte blushes in a palette um, if you guys saw my depotting video a while back but anywho I love this blush you can actually the river kind of shows up more on camera than it does in person it's like the river's almost completely gone which just shows you how much I've used this blush because I have so many blushes that for me to actually use this blush that much, you know it has to be a favorite. And there's the color of it there. It's just a really pinky, like nice neutral pinky brown color. And it goes great with pretty much any skin tone. I love this blush. And like I said, you can see how well I've used it. In fact, let me compare it to a brand new one that I haven't used, which is Blissful, which is this one right here, and then exposed next to it. You guys can just see how much I actually love that blush. Last makeup favorite is a lipstick. And I actually got this recommendation from It's Judy's Time. Uh, it's Judy Time. Yeah. <laughs> I love her channel and her vlog channel. I follow them religiously. Like, I would be one of those crazy fans. If I ever ran into them, I would probably cry. Because I love watching their videos so much. So, anyway. She did a review on these Kate Moss lipsticks for Rimmel London a while back. The packaging is super cute. It's just red and it says uh, has Kate's signature on it with a little heart. And I got the color, um, let's see, 104. And it's actually the Lasting Finish by Kate. That's the name of the lipstick. And I don't, I can't remember if I put this, I think I already showed this in a haul video, but I love this color. It's just a very like neutral mauve color. It looks kind of dark in the tube, but it actually is not too dark for my skin tone. So you can see the color there, super pretty. These are so smooth, they glide on flawlessly. I'm actually looking to go get some more because I really liked the way that it lasted. I wore it for, pic for family pictures the other day and it was just amazing like the color was very matte and creamy so but it didn't feel drying on the lips and it showed up perfectly in photo flash photography I didn't have any issues with it bleeding into my lips or my lips into my teeth or anything like that I really really liked it and I did ha I do have to say though for it supposed to be like a staining long lasting lipstick it does rub off easily like I didn't the next day wake up with stain on my lips from having it so it is a really great long lasting lipstick but it does come off easily if you need it to. If you guys have favorite colors in that I have to go back and look at uh, Judy's video to see which ones she reviewed or which one she did a first impression on because I definitely want to pick up some more. Okay now on to skincare before I go through my two fails. So I actually had a super sweet subscriber message me here on YouTube and asked me if I had a P.O. box and she said she wanted to send me a bunch of stuff like just to um, send me things that she loved. She actually wrote a list out and everything it was so super sweet. I don't have it with me so I can't remember um, all the stuff that she had sent me right off the bat. But two products in particular that she sent me that I'm absolutely in love with are skincare products. And the first one is uh, Peter Thomas Roth and I believe she said she got those from Sephora. These are the Clinical Skincare Max Comple Complexion Correction Pads and they are medicated acne pads. So they're supposed to be good for anti-aging, poor minimizing and oil control and these really remind me of the Stridex cleanser pads that I used a long time ago regularly and then I use them now for just like spot like to clear up oil throughout the day these are amazing she like I said wrote me a list and told me how to use it and everything she actually recommended that I use these um, twice a uh, twice a day for 
for mate no I think twice a day for a week and then twice a week for maintenance after that I've actually been using one every day in the morning and it has been helping my skin tremendously like right now I don't have anything on my skin I am sleep deprived so I may have bags but I don't have like any primer no powder no nothing it just this moisturizer on my skin right now and so you can see like it I mean, I have a little bit of shine, but nothing like I would have had throughout the day prior to using these pads. They're very heavily scented, so you do have to get used to that. It says it has a fresh peach bellini scent, um, but I don't find that to be the case. This is what the packaging looks like, in case you're interested. And then that's what the pads look like. They're heavily saturated. They do have like a texture to them, so you do have to be careful because if you get it anywhere near your eyes you will burn the heck out of them like I learned that the hard way which she warned me but I did learn it the hard way and so I what I do with them is after I wash my face in the morning which I will I will try and do um face morning face routine probably within the next couple days so maybe it'll be up by like the end of the month um what I do is I wash my face and I pat it dry I use one of these and just on my t-zone here and here and kind of on my cheeks I don't really go on my chin because I feel like it's the most sensitive there and I just let it dry for a little while. I give it maybe 5 to 10 minutes and then I come back and put my moisturizer. And these have made a significant difference to my oily skin. So I'm very grateful to her for sending them to for sending them to me. And I do feel like they've been helping with my acne problems on my cheeks. Because I think because I touch my face so much, it's just been horrible. So really love that product. And then to go along with it for the moisturizer, like I said, she sent me the Orzins Zero Oil. This is oil-free moisturizing lotion with saw palmetto and mint. And the packaging looks like this. And I'm assuming you can just get it from regular and origins counter or the origins website. I actually haven't looked up the retail cost of this. But she was so super sweet. She said she really loved this too for her oily skin. And I'm so grateful for her sending this to me because this is the perfect combination of like lotion to moisturize but it has that gel texture so it's not overly moisturizing. Let me show you what I mean by that. So you can see it's like a white, it would look like a lotion from afar, but then when you put it in, you can see how gel-like it is. Like it has that wet appearance, like a gel, but once you put it on your skin, it dries very quickly and it still moisturizes at the same time. There's nothing worse when you have oily skin than having a moisturizer that overly moisturizes or under moisturizes so it's essentially dry now and you can see that it's not like super crazy oily or anything like that not like a normal lotion would be I love this and it has a pleasant scent it's like a like a citrusy smell so I will definitely continue to repurchase this once I run out of this one because I have I finally feel like I've gotten my skin routine down packed and I'm so happy with it. The last skincare product have been these makeup remover wipes. I showed these to you in, I think, one of my last haul videos. They're from Kirkland, uh, from Costco, the Kirkland brand. They're the Daily Facial Towelettes. I love, love these. They are amazing when it comes to taking your makeup off. I am so impressed. They were very inexpensive because you have to buy them in bulk. And they're huge. Like, I've been using this one to take off the swatches on my hands and they're just awesome because they're so stretchy I love the Kirkland brand baby wipes also for Maddie and these are the exact same thing like they're so stretchy it's huge how like how much product you get or how big of a sheet you get to take off your makeup I can use one sheet and take off my whole makeup for the day now of course I go back and wash my face and touch up around my eyes and stuff because these are not overly saturated but they're definitely super saturated enough to where they are great for removing makeup so you can see like they do leave that shine and that nice finish to your face I love these plus the texture on them is great for removing the eye makeup I haven't found any issues taking off waterproof mascara or anything like that love love these and would highly recommend them now for my fails and I really hate to do this because I hardly ever have fails like I will just return a product if I don't like it but unfortunately I threw out the packaging to these and so now I'm stuck with them and I'm just really disappointed I also never let a product go to waste even if I do not like it if it's something that I cannot return I will use it just because I spent my money on it so I will use these products but I'm so disappointed 
in the way that they performed. And the first one is the uh, Maybelline Falsies Big Eyes Mascara. I showed this to you in my last makeup haul. I was so disappointed with, with the way that this performed on my eyelashes. I was very like excited to try this because I, I even showed enthusiasm in that video because I thought for sure it would be my problem saver to my bottom lashes not having mascara. There's the wand. It's kind of like a curved scoop. Um, that's meant for your upper lashes and then your lower lashes it has this tiny tiny little uh, what is this a spoolie is it a, a mascara wand there you go <laughs> for your bottom lashes and I was so excited because I told you guys I've been having problems with my bottom lashes this was a horrible horrible product it did nothing nothing for my lashes like I could even get a, get away from the fact that the upper lashes was horrible and I love Maybelline falsies that was one of my favorite mascaras for a very very long time probably over a year but this one was so horrible I did not like the way that the brush went against my lashes it completely separated them all not like in a good way I mean like it would clump three and four lashes together and that's how it separated it so I look like I had huge spider lashes I wish I had recorded when I used this to show you guys how bad it was then the bottom lash mascara you think oh that would be perfect for your bottom lashes well it fits nicely but the way that the brush is, it has like a cylinder effect and it it's like they're completely spaced. So it wasn't getting my lashes very well. Like I need something a little bit more tightly packed. So this, I was just so disappointed. And I'm, I'm so freaked out because mainly my mascaras are probably my all-time favorite mascaras. Like I love the Rocket. The Falsies used to be my favorite back in the day. I still do like it. I just, I've had so much good luck with Maybelline mascaras. This one was horrible. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys actually like this or if there's something I can do to help it. Like, should I use a primer? Should I layer mascaras? Like, I just was not impressed with this. And then my last fail, I was so, super, like, so sad to have this as a fail as well. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, actually. They're Color Riche something balms and um, this is in lilac ever after and I was so excited about these because it's duty time of course love her she did a review on them and she loved them and I was just so disappointed with this one and it's not even the product that I was disappointed it's just this one in particular I was very excited because it's like a neutral pinky color and you can see there it has pigmentation I put this on my lips and it literally has zero color payoff zero and it feels weird like you put it on your lips and it's almost like a sticky balm but there's no color payoff so when I went to go layer something on top of it to try and help it out a little bit it stuck to my other lips in fact I was using this lipstick I tried to layer the Kate lipstick on top of it to give it more color and it stuck to this and this lipstick wouldn't transfer to my lips because this was on them I was so disappointed. I'm like, are you serious? I paid $8 for this and there's zero color payoff. And I even tried to layer it. Like once you let it dry for a minute, like I, that's a second layer. It gives more color payoff. Nothing. Like it's almost like it slipped around on my lips and would not do what it was supposed to. So I was just completely disappointed. I was so like prepared for that color on my lips and it was nothing absolutely nothing now I do have another color that's like a fuchsia color that I'm satisfied with that color shows up fine and it may just be the color of my lips I don't feel like I have super pigmented lips like my top lip especially is way lighter than my bottom lip so I feel like it should have showed up but it didn't nothing whatsoever so I was disappointed but I still love the line I just was not impressed with that color. So anywho, I hope that you guys enjoyed this impromptu, very casual, very laid back November favorites. I'm sorry that I look a hot mess. <laughs> I was hoping to kind of hold off a little bit, but I didn't want to wait any longer to film this for you guys. I also have, you can see back there, a Bath & Body Works haul, a pretty big Bath & Body Works candle haul to film that I'm going to film separately from my semi-annual sale because the semi-annual sale will probably have a, a roundabout amount of things. That's purely candles. There's two huge bags. By the way, hey Kimberly, if you're watching, I ran into her at Bath & Body Works. So super cool. I was vlogging that day, so check out my vlog channel if you're interested in seeing all the places I went shopping um, the other day. But anywho, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your November favorites were, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!